Hey everybody, I wanted to thank all of you for all the support on my last video about my mom and about why wearing a mask is super important in the middle of a pandemic. I was so, so struck by how many of you um, reacted to that video, how many of you shared it, how many of you responded really, really thoughtfully um, in the comments section. And this is all to say that I have had a lot of thoughts um, over the past few years for whatever reason I just couldn't write a song that expressed them in a way that I was happy with so I figured why not just make some videos I've needed a new outlet I've wanted to try something a little bit different and I've wanted to just say some things directly to all of you the folks who've been listening to my music and who follow my music social media so with all that said I wanted to address something a little bit different this time. I wanted to talk about Spotify. Specifically, I wanted to talk about the words of Daniel Ek. Probably been seeing an article um, about him circulating within the past month about how he said that musicians can't put out music once every three to four years and expect to survive. If you don't know Daniel Ek, he is the CEO of Spotify, aka musicforfree.com. Daniel Ek is an incredibly wealthy man, and he runs Spotify, which is one of the world's biggest and most widely used streaming platforms. Musicians, especially small-time ones, make almost no money from streaming, and yet streaming is one of the biggest measurements of a musician's clout aside from social media followers. I'm stating a bunch of obvious facts because the conclusion is also pretty obvious. The fate of musicians is always in the hands of non-musicians. And the fate of those who have nothing is always in the hands of those who have everything. In and of itself, there's nothing particularly sinister about that first statement. Not everyone's a musician, so why should musicians only make music for musicians, you know? But when you start factoring things like money and power into the equation, that's when things get really ugly. As a musician, I'm really happy to make music for people who aren't musicians. In fact, I depend on them. I depend on them to pay my bills. I depend on people with steady jobs to spend their disposable income. As a side note, it's kind of messed up that we call it disposable income disposable, but that's a whole other video. I depend on people with steady jobs to spend their disposable income on my shows and my merch. I depend on tech CEOs and tech companies making streaming apps that'll get my music in front of potential listeners. I depend on bookers at clubs and venues to get me in playing in front of potential listeners. And the thing about it is that as a musician, I'm a small business and my product is my music. Spotify and the other streaming services like that have made that product free. And Daniel X right, I can't put out music once every three to four years and expect to survive. That's what he wants. That's what he and all the other tech CEOs and all the streaming C platform CEOs, that is exactly what they want. A world where people who pour their blood and sweat and tears into art, because it is art, they can only sell it for pennies on the dollar and the promise of exposure. That's the world they've created. So what does this mean? It means that if artists are to survive, they need direct support. How do you support artists directly? Buy stuff from them. Don't just consume their work through a platform like Spotify or Apple Music or anything like that. Buy as much as you can directly from them. Buy their shirts, buy their CDs or their vinyl. And if an artist has a Patreon page especially, sign up to become a patron because it really does help. Incidentally, I have a Patreon page and I'll link it down in the description of this video. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Thanks for listening to this, if you've made it this far. Um, I hope you appreciate this video, and I hope you'll share it with someone who needs to hear it. Thanks.